Hey everyone, Cash here, back with another video from FIFA 15. Today we continue our career with Trey Cash, and we're starting this one off with a huge game. We have Basictus, which I'm sure that's not how you pronounce the name, but we're gonna roll with that one. We are playing them in the EuroLeague round of 32. It's a two-leg series. In their version, their home game, they won 2-0. They pulled up the huge upset, so we are now back at home at the Emirates. We need three goals here at home to take this one. Well, we need a three goal win difference to take this one. And you see there up top, the only person that I recognize on this team is Dembe Ba. I'm not sure who scored the goals in the last one, but at this point, it does not matter. We just need three goals and we need to win this one because if we don't, this will be a humongous upset as we will get bounced. And you see the opportunity first coming here in the 18th minute. The shot there going to be missed by Diaby. Easily could have been a goal. Now 21st minute, a free kick coming here. Trey going to get his head on him, but this one will be saved by the goalie. I believe the Euro League, I think this is the Europa League. Obviously, EA Sports does not have the UEFA licensing. That goes to Pez. So I think this is the Europa League because the Champions League, I think, is the, well, UEFA Champions League. I don't know if that's what they call it. But you see Trey missing the opportunity there. So now we move all the way ahead to just a minute before halftime. And this is going to be about the best chance that Besiktas gets in the first half. And that is actually where the first half will end. So no goals scored in the first half. Everyone, you can now start getting nervous. I certainly am as it's now 0-0-0-0, 53rd minute, Trey with the ball, we have got to break the ice here and get a goal, Trey going to take it in, takes the shot, but it's going to be saved as their goalie putting on quite the performance here, Aaron Ramsey coming in for Diaby as 54th minute, the corner kick coming here, the shot going to be taken by Ramsey, it's going to bounce back, Campbell with the header, but that's going to be saved as well, and you've got to be kidding me, I think a foul got called, and it is still nil-nil, we need three goals, and actually, I don't think I mentioned it, but we did not play in the first leg of this one. That one was a simulation, so probably part of the reason why they got two goals and we did not score, because I'm sure that would not have been the result if we played. Now 73rd minute, still no goals. It is getting less and less likely that we can pull this one out. Trey going to get the pass in. Campbell actually ends up with it, but it's going to be saved again. Their goalie. Who is he? Freaking Neuer or something? we got to get a goal here. It's now extra time. This one all but over. Trey just looking for something. He cannot find the net either. And here it is going to end. And you've got to be kidding me. We cannot even score a goal at home. We deserve to be bounced from the Euro League. We are going to lose on aggregate 2-0. We're out of the Euro League. And what an embarrassing defeat. We're bounced in the round of 32. But we have a chance to pick ourselves back up here. Finals of the Capital One Cup against Leicester City. And we win 4-1. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play so we don't get a chance to raise the hardware, but we do pick up the win there in the Capital One Cup. We'll now move on to another Premier League game against Norwich City. As you see here, we're now in second, just one point behind Chelsea. In this one, we're jumping straight into the second half. There was not a single shot in the first half. The first shot you're gonna see right here, and it's gonna come from Norwich, and they're actually gonna get another opportunity here as this one, I don't know, I think that one was deflected. I don't know how he didn't put a better shot on net there. But now, finally, Arsenal going to get an opportunity here. Trey in the box, going to get this one across. The shot coming in. It's going to be saved. Actually, it's going to be blocked. Alexi with another opportunity. That one's going to be missed in this game. This episode, just depressing. 79th minute now. The header going to be bounced back out. Rams is going to take the shot. That one's going to be saved. Another opportunity for Alexi Sanchez. That one is missed as well. What the heck is going on here? We move ahead to the 85th minute Norwich with an opportunity. The header coming, but that's going to be saved by Chesney. And now we move ahead. Now 87th minute Norwich with another opportunity. And here Trey going to a little bit hard on the tackle. Taking out our frustrations a little bit here. We're going to pick up the yellow card. And this one just not looking good. We have got to turn this around. Trey extra time here looking for the goal he's got guys chasing him. i'm going to take the shot but that one a little bit too far away off the mark and this one it's going to end nil nil this is the most depressing video we have ever had the huge upset first game now we have a tie we don't get to play in the winning capital one finals match so we cannot end the video here. We normally play two games and that's it, but we're gonna play this next FA Cup game against Fulham. You see here this for a spot in the semis and we have got to turn things around here. We've got to score a goal opening minutes, fourth minute actually. Trey gonna end up with this one 
and we're going to look to split this defense here. We will do just that. Trey takes it in, going to take the shot, falling on his butt, and he's going to go off the post, finds the back of the net, and that is what we needed. Trey Cash with the goal, redeeming ourselves for all the other crap we have experienced in this episode as he gets that one just under the goalie's arm there, our second goal in the FA Cup. Now 21st minute, the corner from Fulham, and this one going to end up... Well, eventually, I think, going to be shot here as they're going to work their way into the box. The shot does come, but this one a little bit too heavy. That one's off the mark, so we'll go into the half with that 1-0 lead. As a little bit relieving there to see Trey score that goal there in the fifth minutes. Finally, we break through, and now we're going to move ahead all the way to actually extra time as nothing else happened in that second half. But here off the corner, Trey going to get it into Chambers. He's going to take the shot, and he gets another goal, so... We steal, sneak in, I guess, and one more goal before the end of this one. Trey picking up an assist, so a successful game for Trey, although a mostly boring game, not a really, not a whole lot of opportunities, excuse me, as Colum Chambers picks up the 90th minute goal. So goal and assist from Trey. We play a 9.4, I think, a redeeming game for us. And then we come back out here, Manchester United. We are not in the lineup. We'll send this one quick to see because this is a big game. We get a 2-2 tie, Welbeck and Ramsey with the goals. And because we didn't play in that one and we didn't play in the Burnley game and no one scored in Norwich City game, we only get two of our four goals. So I don't know if that's going to affect our playing time. But you see here, we're not playing against Hull City. So that's two games in a row. I hope we're not in for a long spell on the bench because we have played very well. You see there are eight matches played, five goals, four assists. We have been playing awesome for our new team. So... We will begin with that whole city game that we'll sim through, and then we'll see. Hopefully, we get back in the lineup soon enough. But that is going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, although it was rather depressing and disappointing, but if you want to give it a like to cheer me up a little bit, because if you need me, and you'll find me in the corner crying over that horrible, horrible loss. Still can't believe we lost that one. But that is it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it, and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.